More and more graphics cards nowadays, like this 3060 Ti, are coming with what's known as blow-through style coolers, where instead of just blasting hot air at your graphics card PCB, it allows cool air to run through the cooler to better dissipate heat. So that's why whenever I see my 5700 XT, I get really angry, because there's like an inch of backplate here that blocks that from happening. So today, I want to find out if cutting off that inch makes the difference. Get rid of that awful thought. Anyways, this is my Gigabyte Gaming OC 5700 XT. Now, it's a pretty decent graphics card, but it gets really hot. So today, I was really wondering what would happen if I just cut off the end of that backplate. And to find out, I'm going to put it up on Benchy here, get a good baseline, just set the fans at a static speed while running a benchmark, and then see what that same static speed looks like with the end cutoff. It's a pretty simple test. Let's go ahead and find out. So I got Furmark here. I'm going to run the stress test until it gets up to a nice static temperature and then I'm going to fix the fans and the core speed so that I, I can replicate it exactly the same with the backplate cut. So because of how graphics cards regulate themselves with like stock settings, you can't really rely on a temperature number to tell you a performance increase or decrease because all it will be doing is trying to regulate the graphics card at that temperature. So if out of the box it says 70 degrees is my max temperature, don't let it get any hotter than this, it will spin the fans up faster and faster and faster to keep it below that 70 degrees. So if we do make an improvement, you wouldn't notice it other than just a fan speed reduction. What I want to see is at the same fan speed, will it be cooler? Is that the right grammar? I don't know. Alright, so it turns out I actually had to use uh, Radeon software to actually get the overclock to, like, stick. <laughs> AMD, why do you do this? Why do you fight MSI Afterburner like this? Anyway. It seems to have leveled off at about 70 degrees C. Doesn't seem like it's going any higher. Doesn't seem like it's going any lower. So pretty much what we're running is this. 1675 megahertz on the core, 1746 megahertz on the memory, temperature 70C, and then fan speed is 51%, and we're chilling out at that 70C. So hopefully, cutting the backplate will yield a better result than this. Alright, so to keep this from being an unfair test, I already went in this graphics card and applied Thermal Grizzly because that's what I'm going to be using to repaste it. And I didn't want this to outdo whatever garbage AMD applied or Gigabyte applied from the factory. I want this to be as much as an A-B test as possible. I also don't want to try cutting this backplate with it on the graphics card. That just is extremely sketchy. <laughs> and I don't want to kill what is currently worth way too much. Go ahead and disconnect the cooler. Pretty good paste job. Really good job there. I'm just gonna cut this little piece away. Man, I've been doing some mining with this card because, you know, nobody sleeps in this house for free. And wow, these memory uh, thermal pads are getting super oily. That's crazy. There's more oil on these thermal pads than there is on a cheap pizza. So yeah, let's just go ahead and sawzall off through this thing. Alright, so I 100% did not expect that to be made out of aluminum, but here we are. Alright, so it's not my worst cut job. <laughs> it's not too sharp either, so let's go ahead and put it back together. <laughs> Dab off some of this oil, god damn. This thing is absolutely covered in oil from those thermal pads. Go ahead and clean off 
the actual GPU core with some alcohol. Now remember guys, this is the exact same thermal paste that I'm going to be putting back on here. Now remember, whenever you repaste the GPU to get as much thermal paste, you know, kind of spread around as possible, you don't want any parts of the die exposed. You just go ahead and tap it lightly. I mean, obviously, thermal paste spreads when it gets crushed together, but you really don't want to accidentally leave any of this exposed. I guess I'll peel off these dampers while I'm here. Not really any use anymore. All right, so take a look at this. And then go down to the comments and tell me if you think that this will make an improvement. And while you're down there, like and subscribe. All right, so we're back into Windows. Luckily, it saved all the settings that I had here before. So all I gotta do is fire up Furmark and see what those temperatures are like. Every degree that it creeps up here is a degree less of improvement. <laughs> so if there is any improvement to be had right here, it's gonna be minimal. All right, so it looks like it's peaking out at, at 68. Unless it wants to creep up into the 69, it was a very small difference, like one, two degrees. Like I honestly couldn't see this making that big of a difference. Maybe inside of a rig where you have less total airflow, you might you might get a little bit more out of it, especially where you're working with thinner margins. But I mean, it's already up to 69 degrees. See, it's getting a little hot in here too, but. Realistically, I don't think it's making that much of a difference. Yeah, guys, it looks like we're sitting at uh, 69 degrees, which is only a single Celsius drop, which, I mean, it, it, it's, it's hitting 70 now, but it's getting kind of warm in here, so I feel like the, the room temperature might have changed a bit, but I don't see it being that big of a gain. But honestly, it's fun to try. It's fun to see these things uh, up close in person. You never know what you're going to expect from this kind of... I mean, obviously, I probably could have just removed the backplate and saw what it did because it's pretty much the same shape without the backplate. But what, where's the fun in that? <laughs> Busting out the Dremel, cutting off the backplate. So if you like this video, guys, hit like, get subscribed, leave a comment on what other kind of graphics card carnage you want to see, and I'll see you guys next time.